Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're uh, on the Unreliable, ready to take off to wherever we want to go. Uh, and I think to do just that. Wait, what? Oh, the hol holographic shroud is just above us. So we uh, need to go to the black market to buy ourselves uh, a, an access code to the next planet we go to. But. Phineas also told us to pick up the holographic shroud, which should help us in stealth areas. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Okay, so it's not an invisibility cloak. It's a disguise, which is really, really cool. There's actually a terminal here as well. There's one message from Wingman's Wingman Bedford to Alex Hawthorne, and he's the Wingman. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of, well, steel. It's not exactly board approved, so don't you go showing it around to your spacer buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Udon. And there's a bunch of archive messages as well from Udon Bedford. Hello, Udon here, Udon Bedford. We met when I accidentally impounded your ship. My silly fat fingers embarrassing me once again. I hope that wasn't too terribly inconvenient for you. It was such a pleasure for me, and I tremendously appreciate your forbearance in not throttling me. You really are quite the gentleman. If you're ever in Groundbreakers airspace, well, space space, please don't hesitate to look me up. The Lost Hope serves Spectrum Vodka, perhaps we could try every color. You know, really tie one on. Let me know. Then next, dear Alex, hello hello. Hope this finds you well, it was a pleasure to see you in my office again last week. Once again, I'm terribly sorry about the impounding mix-up. How could it have happened a second time? Terminals these days, I swear. Dreadfully unreliable. Aha, just like your ship. I hope you've given some thought to that thing we discussed, you know, about the Wells fellow. I'm so sorry to press, but I have the strangest tickling feeling that you really do know him. And if you could just tell me where he is, well, it would be marvelous for our friendship, wouldn't it? Looking forward to seeing you again, wingman. So I feel like Alex was, uh being uh, blackmailed by Udom here. Hello, hello. I don't know where you were raised, but I hazard to guess it may have been a barn, because anyone with even a modicum of decent rearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one's friends. Please respond. I can't tell you how pleased I am to finally hear from you. Your message was hilarious. I'm delighted by your sense of humor and the tale of your hijinks. I hope your terminal will cooperate for the foreseeable future. By the by, I was scraping Groundbreakers comms network for tasty little tidbits and I noticed you declined to dock at Edgewater's landing pad and instead touched down in the wilderness. You rugged inv individualist, you. I only pray that idiot Thompson wasn't giving you any trouble. Anyway, I hope your greeting down on Terra 2 prov proves your meeting, proves fruitful and I look forward to corresponding with greater regularity. Okay, but there was one more message, I think. The sent message. Look, there's no call for shouting. My terminal was busted. I had a few too many and I might have knocked it off the desk. You know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta cut loose. I'm not telling you where Wells is, so lay off. Buy me a drink at the Lost Hope next time I'm in and I might forgive you. Okay, so they... Wonder... Because this thing looks bolted onto the desk. Most of the cases, I don't think he knocked it off. And then a bunch of log entries. The shrink ray. Note to self, remember this later. No better. Ada, remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually. No, Ada, I'm not, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? Back to my point. I saw in actuality, with my own two eyes, a sublimely powerful weapon in Wells' lab. Just sitting there for the taking. If the grey hair were to look away and forget about it, maybe. Or if I had asked the smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but it wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. Said it was inspired to create a thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one. Weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge. But I figured they were just stories, to be honest. 
Laying eyes on Wells' shrinky ray firsthand is enough to make a fella wonder if there's more to the rumors. More to be had. Okay, so that's about science weapons then. Number two, hammer power. The last time I got sloshed, I mean, was imbibed, imbibing at the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Look, Udom was really free with the drinks. He seems like an okay fellow. I shamelessly but suddenly eavesdropped onto Mardet yammering on about a mad scientist some years back who'd claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like none of us have heard that one before. But here is the good part. The Mardet said the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power or something similar. A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab coat? Sure fits the bill. It could be another one of the weapons that inspired Wells. And then the black market leads? Why? Why? Why won't Wells just give the shrink ray to me? Blast him to the depths of the labyrinth on Tartarus and back. Let the record show I did apologize for shouting him down. Five times. But architect be damned, it's just shit sitting there. Not shitting there. Neglected and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when he said it wasn't ready yet. And he, that even if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. What does that even mean, I ask? That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe out the good hardworking folks of the colony like some sort of moral moralist psycho? I'll admit to maintaining some questionable associations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself and mine. What's not to respect about that? Exactly. Now I have to wait until Wells forgets or thinks he misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumors pertaining to others of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check with the black market merchants on the Groundbreaker and in Fallbrook. Okay. And that seems to be it. So we got a few, yeah, weapons from the Void. Acquire Phineas' science weapon and acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. And there's nothing in the bin. Okay. Make okay. Home, Captain. Th thank you, Ada. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to look upstairs now because this thing is actually pretty big. Uh... Hello? What are you? Sam. Okay. So this seems to be a defensive robot of some sort. It did show me something in the top right. I completely missed what it was. But probably another quest, I would assume. Uh, flowers. Oh. This is not a petunia. Petunia the plant. Okay. Is that a René Magritte uh, reference? I'm just picking all of that up. I don't know if that's going to be useful or anything. Photo of Parvati's father. Stern older man with warm eyes. Probably shouldn't be digging through her stuff. But this book is heavily dog-eared dog, dog with doodles in the margin. And that's the... Aha. Uh -huh, the modern something wrench. A spade. Hmm. Can I do something with a spade? Banged up toolbox, full of modified tools with unique mechanical usages. Digging around in here would be an easy way to lose a finger to a salt to the blade. Okay, and then a nice wrench, the first wrench dad ever gave me. Aha, uh -huh. it's been a friend ever since. So this is Parvati's room. Can I... There we go. Put the weapon away again, that's this is still the same button. So we have probably multiple rooms for the... Uh, yeah, that will be filled in once we have more companions. And uh, Parvati is actually walking around here. Hello. Hello, Parvati. Sorry. Mind your way? No, you're not. The kitchen area clean and sanitary. I will, Ada. And then just toss something around. Ooh, are they playing Gwent? No, no, it's something else. It's not Gwent. Aha. Uh -huh. So tinkering just... I was just looking at my weapons. I've added another magazine mold to my plasma rifle. But now I know how this works. So I can tinker with a weapon... To level it up basically so there's a level on each item i missed that before um and every time you think you increase the level but thinker items can't be greater than five levels above your own so i'm level six so i can only put that plasma rifle up to level 11. so i'm basically just leveling up these weapons which means that every type of weapon can just be leveled up um, which is really really nice i feel like because that allows you to just keep stick to the weapons you want to use and if you find anything else, you can immediately put that back up to your level, which is really, really cool. Um, I can actually open these things up now. So there's a light assault rifle here. Can't really use that. But let's use the console to move to uh, the groundbreaker. 
There we go. Groundbreaking. Yes. And there we go. See the, the ship actually moving. Okay, welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest. You can fly your ship to any location you have unlocked. Those some landing base require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home at or at work. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. Look at that. That's fancy. Do I just exit now or... Okay. Apparently I do. I'm hoping I have a shuttle of some sort. Uh, sure. Hello, Parvati. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Uh, okay. Uh, she can't be that good. This place is a dump. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Of I don't course have we much can. experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you can of Borston Beans. She could teach me all manner of stuff. Drinking sapphire wine. Um, sure, we could head over to engineering now. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Not necessarily, so, uh, break time's over. So let's see, Gladys. Gladys? Oh, that's, yeah, the, the black market dealer, Gladys. Aha! So now we can select companions, but there's six slots. And, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Par Par Parvati, yeah. Ah, okay, so now I have selected her and continue. Okay, Jane Elson, I don't think she needs to talk to us. We actually landed inside of the ship now. That's weird, why not do that immediately then? Hey, Captain. Captain. Hey, Captain. I'm in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Space! That's a portal reference if I've ever seen one. Um, so customs. That's not the point. This hat would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the Groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. Okay, Corporate Trooper. Hello, Felix. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Uh, yeah, kinda. Um, I noticed you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. Okay, so you like punching. I'd like to hear your side what happened. Um, I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Okay, and that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? now. <laughs> oh boy. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Okay, got any... hmm... Got any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. You wanna hey, not for join, nothing, join, join me? But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? But it is. That's that's me. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Um, do you want to... I, I never called your... Hmm. Yeah, let's introduce ourselves. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay, see you around, Felix. See you around, boss. I was hoping he was going to be our next companion, but apparently not. Okay, Hypervati, you're again incredibly close, and this is probably stealing. Yes, even from bins, it's stealing. Let's see, I need to check my quest log first, because I need to set that other quests to active. So drinking sapphire wine. And that's also in that direction, okay. Let's see what we can do about the main quest first, then, since we're still... Okay, that's um, the wrong button. 
Um, let's go to passage to anywhere. So that's to the left. While engineering is to the right. Well, anyway, we need to go to customs first. Hello, Leonard. Identification, please. Um, present Hawthorne ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. Um, you just you just took my ship the moment I arrived here. Uh, I take it back. I'm not Hawthorne and that isn't my ship. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Okay, so that's Udom. We just read those emails, so... Any idea what... I mean, yeah, it happens a lot. We know it happens a lot. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I have to take a guess as to why... You probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. Okay, so we know who that is. Um, great, I'll talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure, why not? Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Uh, oh, okay. A handful of sand cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Okay, golden. But we do have some medical training, so we might else I can help you with. actually help her out with that. So, what can you tell me about Udom Bedford, indeed? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Okay, but uh, seems like there's some tension between Groundbreak and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. I would imagine, because the board, so the board is a group of corporations, the group of corporations that owns all these planets. And the Groundbreaker is the only thing that's not actually owned by the board for some reason. Uh, keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, Maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Okay, so that's an interesting option. They could actually, if they wanted to, destroy the groundbreaker and make something else. But thanks for the info, Leonard. Um, hmm... Looking for a drink? We know where to go for your drink. Maybe ask about Gladys first? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay, thank you, Leonard, for all the information. Good seeing you. Bye. He's really, really friendly. I like this. He's a really friendly man, so I can just move through here. And now we have two options. Gladys over there or Udom Batford over there on the right. I up this weird the and I think... I think I'm gonna go to Udom first. Can I open this? Ooh, wow. Okay, this looks cool. This looks really cool. So the rest and go uh, is over there. Then the Lost Hope, that was the bar. Wait, wasn't he, was Ud wasn't Udom always in the, in the bar? Apparently not. I need to go to Udom over there then. And that is, Oh, is that the board's... Yeah, the corporate the building. Mantium, okay, I I, no one wants you on I... I can enter, right? I'm just gonna hang in the back and try not to touch anything. 
Hello. Interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Okay, so the of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live as one with the animals, lawless, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Okay. So that was a bit weird, but... Uh... Udom here seems to have a lovely, a glorious, magnificent mustache. Hello, Udom. Uh, yes, Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Uh, it has. He's, uh, he's kind of dead. Um... I'm gonna wring your scrawny neck, you sprat fuck. Um, I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells. Jesus Christ. Um, forget Alex. Why did you impound my ship? I impounded Alex's ship, not yours. Well, I guess it's yours now if you're captaining it. It's a, a game we play, he and I. I ask him to turn in Phineas Wells. He tells me he will soon. I impound his ship. He explains why he can't give me the info right now. I ask him to turn in wells. Around and around we go. Okay, so tr thrilling anyway about my ship. I'm here to turn in Phineas Wells or Alex is dead. Well, let's go with that. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Um... I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, although we know he probably doesn't care about Alex. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. Um, what was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Uh, sh sh sure he did. Yeah, let's lie about that. Oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? Um, can we lie again? He was eaten alive by feral cannons. Uh, he died in an escape pod accident, indeed. Oh, awful business, that. But why? How? No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. He, he got squished. Um, can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Of course, you'll want something Alex from me. Alex to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? I have no idea, buddy. Um, why, why is the board so interested in Wells? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Well, we know that that's only half true, because the board has some kind of idea for all those colonists that are frozen on the... Uh, the, the, I forgot about the name about the ship. Um, the Hope? The Hope? It was something like that. Um, I know where to find him. Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. Yeah, Alex never mentioned Phineas Wells. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? This is weird. Um, what's this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Maybe I can convince you to tell me. Uh, stop playing coy, Batford. <laughs> I don't intend to be. It's just a matter of trust. Okay, how can I win your trust then? 
Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. Um... I can't tell you where he is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Okay, Udom. Um, good goodbye, I suppose. Jesus. That is every single time. That is so loud and bombastic. That's high profile I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna check my level in a sec. I'm just gonna do that right in front of you guys. I'm gonna level up, boys. Watch me do that. Uh, three more points into dialogue, because of course I want to keep persuading everybody. Uh, a single point in the stealth, maybe? Mm, you can actually put lock picking up to 35. Um, so we unlock. Unlock access to restricted items in vending machines and then persuade. Coward duration plus 7 seconds. That's already good. Anything else we're pretty close by? Uh, maybe tech. Yeah, if I put five more points in... Oh, I don't have five more points, but this should do. And then maybe one more point into ranged. Might as well do that and apply. And we don't get any perks because it's not another... Uh, well, it's not divisible by two the level, so that's just perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, we can either go to Gladys, but I think that Parvati's quest is actually closer at the moment. Engineering, there we go. Engineering is right over there, and it's... Is that... Is that me? Or is that just funny that engineering has a broken sign? <laughs> that is, um... Yeah, ironic, I would say. So, switched, uh, switched quests, so we can actually talk to... Those XF-411s? And an old Yakita 37? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? I think it's hot here. Jesus, this is very hot. Um, let's talk to Junlei Tennyson. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Uh, no, indeed. So, a uh, nice place you got to your chief. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Uh, no, there's uh, actually somebody who, uh, who who wants to talk to you, but uh, I'll try not to start any fight, but I might have to end some. No, I'll do whatever I can to keep the peace. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, um, now that's my ship out of impound, I can safely say I'm headed for Monarch, though. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Thank you. Um, Parvati, you wanted to talk to Chunne. Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Okay, nudge Parvati to continue. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Hello. Uh, silently encourage. Parvati, don't be shy about requesting time off if I need you, to, if you need to compare notes in person. Can I, wondering if I need to say something. Uh, silently encourage Parvati. Wow, great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. This is cute. Um, nice, nice job, Parvati. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Oh, that was cute. 
Uh, it seems kind of warm in here. What's going on? Uh, yeah, I actually want to know. Groundbreakers radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Uh, that's not good. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. And is there no room for compromise? None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone on board, will be cooked alive. That, that, that's definitely not good. You need a contractor to work this out. I'm available for a reasonable rate. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. And we increased our reputation. That's good. Uh, call it. I'll take care of that right now. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Aha. Uh -huh. So, um, could, couldn't we try to talk this out with whoever is down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. So, the back bays... Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. So Felix, the guy we talked to at the beginning, was from the back base, right? If I can find him again, that would be nice. Okay, but of course Felix has moved on. Felix is no longer in the docking bay. Maybe I can find him around here somewhere. Because he might be able to help me. I've been letting myself be guided by the quests for the most time now. But I feel like I need to explore this place a bit more organically. Just talk to a few people, see what's going on and uh, make our way from there. Because I feel like this game really allows you to find solutions on your own as well. So I do have a marker for the unreliable now, which is weird because I would think that... Return to the unreliable and ask Parvati about Junlei. Oh, aha. So that's why that's moving us back there. That's fine. We could actually do that just to end it there for now, for the today's episode. Let's do that. Oh, that's that's a door shut in my face. Hey, there he is. Felix is right at the ship. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. There we go. I thought it was going to be a, a companion. You're pretty eager to throw with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Uh, sure. Um, if you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. Temperament. Okay, Felix, consider this your interview. Sure, an interview. That sounds fair. I mean, first time for everything, right? Ask me anything you like. Okay, what's the value of pie? Um, I probably... I, I can't assume. There we go. Uh, it's delicious. Mock apple pie and a triple kale crust. Maybe with a little cream on top. Classic. Okay, that was a great response. Perfect, you're hired. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. Uh, I mean, how... Uh, I don't... How long have you been dreaming about that? We just got here. It can't have been that long, Phoenix. So now now he's in the crew? Yeah, he's even in the party already because I see his helper on the left. But let's first have a chat with Parvati. So let's talk to Parvati on the unreliable. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? I'm guessing your temperature is really high at the moment, so uh, sure. So Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad and, well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Well, comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and... 
lays one hand on it, and the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. That might also be a consequence of the very heavy armor I've put on you, Parvati, so I'm really sorry about that, but sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Um, I mean, you're definitely not cold. Uh, you're about the warmest person I ever met. There we go, to hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Uh, wow, that went downhill fast. Everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Oh, look at that face. She's, uh... They were close? Not anymore? I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Sure. That's a great idea. Drinking solves everything. Uh, yeah, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. There we go. 10,000 experience again for that. That's moving really quickly if you do some quests. Um, that's a, a bunch. Take Parvati to the Lost Hope. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do next because we're still on the Groundbreakers. So thank you guys enormously for watching because I'm going to take a little break. Next time we're going to continue exploring the Groundbreaker and the quests therein because uh, we need to, of course, fix the ship up and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah,